comping and loop recording are very easy to do in UAD Luna. And in this video, we're specifically looking at comping. And if you aren't familiar with what that term means, by the end of this video, you should see what a powerful feature it is to use and start using it in your own projects. What it is that we're trying to accomplish with comping is to create one ultimate track with separate parts from different takes or recordings. Now I did the loop recording in the previous video. If you haven't watched that yet, I do recommend you watch that unless you know how to do loop recording already, but that is a big part of this. I just wanted to separate the videos because both of these things kind of deserve their own video. And by the way, I'm Zane. Welcome to Audio Tech TV, where I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. I have lots of tutorials like this Luna tutorial on here, so consider subscribing if that's something you're interested in. Now, what you need to start with is doing a little bit of loop recording. So I'll show you a clip of loop recording from the previous video. And then once you have all of your takes recorded, we want to make like an ultimate compilation track from all of those takes. And I'll show you the first way that we can do comping in Luna. And this is my preferred way, but I'll show you the second way in a minute. So what we need to do is create a new track. So we can go up to track, new tracks. And because we're working with audio, we're going to do audio track, but you can do comping and loop recording with MIDI as well. So don't think this is just an audio thing, but we're going to create this new audio track. I'm going to name it bass comp and I'm ready to go. So now I have this new track bass comp and I actually want to drag this up above our bass track. Now you can have it wherever you want. I just like it to be above it. If you want it below, go for it. It's your workflow, do whatever works best for you. And I'm going to start with version one here. So I'll zoom in by holding alt down on my computer keyboard and using my wheel here. And we'll just listen to this part. Now I like these first two sections here until that note there. So I might just copy this here. And what I'm going to do is press control C on my computer keyboard. And then I will go up to my base comp track, click in there, control V to paste. And I'm on a windows computer. If you're on Mac, you use whatever the typical, copy and paste keyboard shortcuts are for you. So we have this section here and now let's go to take two and I'll just give that a listen. All right, let's say I like this section now from take two. So I will just click and highlight all of that. Control C, go up here, click control V. And you can see we can do a crossfade there. So that's kind of helpful. I can do that. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Now, what I might want to do with that is just take snapping off by clicking there. And then we can just edit this without the snap on. There, now I'll put snapping back on. Still a little much, but you can play around with that crossfading if you need to. So we have our first two sections. Let's just go to take three and see if this part's good for take three. No, I don't know if I like that. Let's see this one. I don't mind that. So I'll take that take right there. Control C, click up here, control V. And then we'll go to this section, take three. All right, I'm not sure I like that. Listen to this one. Uh, we'll go to take four.
All right, maybe that's what I like right there. It's not too fancy. And I'll just highlight it, control C, bring that up here, control V. And we've just comped this entire base to get the best takes from each section. Now, if I want, I can click on this last one here and then I can go to the first one and I'll hold down shift on my computer keyboard and click. And now it's selected all of these clips in between. If I right click anywhere, I can click on consolidate. And now it's made this one clip out of all those little pieces of clips. But be sure you do that after you get all of your little crossfades correct and make sure you have all these sections correct before you might want to consolidate. So that's just one way that we can do some comping in UAD Luna. Now, the next way we can do that is by creating a new version within the same track. So I'm going to just focus on this track now. So I'll move this out of the way. I'll just click that, put it at the bottom because we don't need that anymore. You can see all of these takes have some audio in there. So I'll just go to the top one and I'm going to click on the plus sign here to create a new version. And now that's blank. And I could do a whole new set of loop recording starting from this next version, but I'm going to use this for my comping. So again, I'll go down to version one here and this time I'm going to start with version two and I'll click and let's say I like this whole section right here. We'll highlight control C and then we'll go back up to version five, click here, control V. And now we have that in there. Now let's go to, we'll say version four and we'll take this next complete section here, control C go up to version five here, click and control V. And now let's say we have all of the takes we want in here. So we could just click and highlight both of those, right click, consolidate, and we have our master compilation right here. And an important thing to note is we can rename this. So if I just click on that and click on this right here, edit version name, I can call this comp. And then that way, when we come back, we know, okay, this is our comp track. And these are all our takes before that. And you can rename all of your takes if you want. And if you're a vocalist or working on vocals, you can see how this would be extremely useful for taking different phrases from different takes and making this one ultimate take of the best phrases from a bunch of vocal takes. Now, for even more UAD Luna tutorials, click right here. And if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.